Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, My Pretty Zombie look. I was going to say notor Notoriously Morbid because that's all I ever do now. But um, I'm going to be using My Pretty Zombie shadows. Um, I did use a different company shadow, but that was just for the brow bone. But if you are interested in how to get this dark mermaidy look, then just stay tuned. Okay, so the first color I am going to start out with is I Eat Your Skin from My Pretty Zombie. All these shadows, uh, except for one, <clears throat> are going to be from My Pretty Zombie. So this one is just going to go in the crease, so it'll help blend out the other colors I'm going to be putting there. color is like technically the same color as my skin so you can't really see it it's just like a little bit darker okay now I'm going to use Breja's adhesive eye wax and I'm just going to put that all over the lid in the inner corner and the lower lash line stuff is freaking amazing. I already had to buy like another thing of it because I used all of the first one in like within a few months. It, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I used it like every day almost. Okay so the next color I'm going to go into is called Grandma Cleavage and this one is just going to go in the uh, inner third of the lid. I love how that eye wax just kind of brings out the sheen or like the duo kind of colors. So pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the color Mad Cow. Which is one of my favorites. It's like a pinky, purpley with a blue sheen. I don't know. It's oh, freaking amazing. If you don't own it, I highly recommend it. It's beautiful. Okay, so this one is just gonna go in the like center kind of. Like that. And I'm going to slightly bring these colors up in the crease. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in to the grandma cleavage and just blend those two a little bit better together. Okay, and then I'm going to go into this color called Blue Fungus on Corpses. And that's going to go in the rest of the open space of the lid. When I picked these colors out, I was just pretty much just randomly picking colors, like ones that I haven't really used, except for Mad Cow. I use that one a lot. But, um,. Yeah, I had no idea that I was picking out like mermaidy colors at the time. So this is like a dark mermaidish kind of look. So I'm just going to bring that up a little bit and kind of into the mad cow. Then I'm going to go back in to Mad Cow and just kind of blend that better over the blue fungus on corpses. Make it a little bit brighter. Okay, 
Now for the fun part, blending. You will see why I put that transition shade there because it's like a black based shadow so if I didn't do that it would be really hard to blend out so just gonna start blending okay and if you are satisfied with that blending which I pretty much am Then you can move on to the next step, which would be, oh, fall out, which would be the lower lash line. And I'm going to use some Mad Cow on the lower lash line. That sounds funny. I'm going to use some Mad Cow. <laughs> okay, and then the inner corner, I'm using a Law Firm Lamb Cake. Yeah, it's like a really pretty white with ah, with really pretty glitter and like a pinkish red sheen. Just going to, yeah, there it is. Couldn't find the brush. Since I put that adhesive eye wax down, it really just grabs on to the color and the glitter, which is awesome. I'm going to kind of bring it over that mad cow on the lower lash line too. So pretty. I love that color. Okay. Um, for the brow bone to kind of blend out that color more, I'm just going to go into Notoriously Morbid's so goes my Nation, which is my go-to brow bone color. I use it, like, every day. It's the perfect blending out color for me, so. Okay, and... Um, for the really awesome sparkly liner, let me close these up. Okay, for the really awesome sparkly liner, I am using Infirmity, which is one of my favorites. It is definitely the mermaidiest of mermaidy colors. That even makes sense. Like, seriously, I have never seen anything else like it. It's definitely unique and I love it. And I'm just gonna try to do thin line and then kind of wing it out, so. All right, so um, what I like to do is pick up that shadow dry and just kind of pat it over the still wet liner. Like that. So you just really just grab onto those sparkles and it just gives it that much more. Like, bam. So. Now for the waterline, I'm gonna use ColourPop's Piggy Bank. I really wish they did not discontinue this. Like, I really don't know why they did. I thought it was pretty popular. And I really wish that I would have grabbed a backup because, oh my god. This color and the waterline just looks amazeballs. Oh, so pretty. So sad. Okay, and then for mascara, I'm using Bobbi Brown's Smoky Eye Mascara. Trying to use up all my little samples before I buy another perversion because I have way too much mascara. It's ridiculous. And what's really annoying is like 
some sort like I, I'm not even really sure what it is in the mascara but some of them I guess I'm allergic to because my eyes will like instantly start watering and just ruin my eye makeup for the rest of the day and I won't know until I put it on so that's really annoying this is one of them that doesn't bother my eyes so that's good I guess okay so oh I forgot to add the little details with piggy bank okay so for piggy bank I also kind of just went up under my already existing wing and then I did like a little bottom wing just like really subtle short okay <clears throat> so for highlight I'm going to use this MAC highlighter and this one is um soft frost and yeah this is like freaking gorgeous um my really good friend Miriam sent it to me and I freaking love it it's oh, it's everything I'm trying not to use it a whole lot because I don't want to like use it all up but it reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D Alchemist palette like the almost like the amethyst but not as pink okay and then for blush I'm gonna use Glamour Doll Eyes' Slap Blush which is like this really pretty pink like it looks crazy but it's I promise it's really not that crazy I'm gonna find a better blush brush though without a bunch of dog hair on it okay I may have done that a little bit too heavy-handed but <laughs> you definitely think it would be a lot more pink Okay, and then finally for lips, I'm going to use Darling Girl's Metal Kiss Lip Cream in Hello Darkness. She just released these and I absolutely love them. They're like a really highly pigmented lip gloss, but they set. I don't, it's, it's hard to explain, but they're gorgeous. Normally I hate like gloss, pigmented gloss because it just winds up all over my face and it's just annoying. I, I'm not good with it. But this stuff like I can eat with it on and it will still, there will still be some of it on. Like I just put it on. It's weird. It's like amazing and it leaves your lips feeling nice. Uh, it's hard to explain but they're nice they're very very nice glosses so that is the final look so there's the eyes the cheeks and the highlights some freaking strand of hair and the lips thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all very soon